Well, can we start with the idea that the two youngsters scored two tries there that uh, have brought you two points on the road at Sale? Yeah, I thought they were great when they came on. You know, you, you, sometimes you need to make some changes just to have an impact. And, um, you know, the boys who've started the game have, have put a massive shift in and sometimes getting some fresh legs on can just spark something. And obviously two of the subs did a great job to get those tries. There was some presence of mind out there. We've heard the term about stay in the fight because that was a fight. It was physical. Um, it was combative and it could have gone away from you at one stage in that game. Yeah, it's, it's extremely physical as, as we expected coming to sale. They pride themselves on their physicality and, and they didn't let us down with um, showing us that today. I thought, you know, that quite pleased with that last 10 minutes. Not, not pleased with how they kept getting in the corner, but pleased with how we kept them out to make sure we had that second point. So, um, you know, not, you're always disappointed when you lose. But I think to come to sail away and get two points, you, you know, it, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, they went route one, didn't they? And just before the interval, um, you didn't manage to keep them out. Two, three big tackles to stop, real strikes for the line. But they still managed to, to make their way over just before the break, which is always a bad time. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, those um, obviously one of the Pre brothers cut us open in the midfield and gave it to Faf early on, which gave them, uh, you know, probably a soft try from our point of view. And then again, one of the Dupree brothers scored there and there. So I think there was a common theme in how they were getting over the line. Um, and, and that's something we've got to have a good look at. But I, I thought, like, as you say, the boys stuck in the fight. You know, they, I thought they, we managed our way out of it pretty well. We didn't, you know, we didn't get what we wanted out of the game and we couldn't quite get firing, if you like. But um, in the end, as I say, this is a tough place to come and, and two points is better than nothing. And a bit of a break now to rest some of those tired bodies because there will be some bruises on those. Yeah, we, we've, had a, we've had a physical period through this um, Six Nations. You know, with Leicester away, Exeter away, Sale away, you know, Northampton at home. It's, it's been tough games and, and the boys have really dug in there. And, uh, you know, ho hopefully there'll be, um, you know, a few boys who, who've had a little bit away from us come back with some energy. But... Well, I was proud of them today. I think every game they've fronted up and, and given it everything they've got. And as you say, we've got some good young lads dipping in, dipping out of the side and, and you know, they're, they're not looking out of place, which is real positive. And a, and a good travelling support again today. And, and I've got to say that, the, you know, the theme from them, they seem to be lifted by the performance, not disappointed by a defeat, but lifted by the stickability that Gloucester showed to go into games. Yeah, well, I, I, I say it most weeks, the, the boys will fight till the final whistle and, you know, they stay connected and they stay tight and, and they don't lose it. And, and that's, um, you know, some days like last week, you're going to get yourself out and win a game. And some days you're going to le lose with a couple of losing bonus points. But, um, you know, we, we know how upsetting it is when you leave any side, any game without points. That's when it's a bit upsetting. And, you know, we did that a couple of weeks ago twice and, and we were gutted with that, to be honest. So, um, you know, we, we lick our wounds and there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff we watch today and we go, we could do that a lot better. But there's, there's plenty of positives there as well. George, thanks very much for your time. Thanks a lot.